What if you knew the world was ending tomorrow? How would that knowledge impact your actions today? A thought-provoking question indeed. Would you live differently? Would your priorities shift? The concept of the end times, though unsettling, is a fascinating topic to ponder. It's a subject that's been prophesied, discussed, and contemplated for centuries. It's a question that has the power to change our perspectives on life. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's delve deeper into what the Bible has to say about this. The Bible, a sacred text for millions around the globe, contains fascinating prophecies about the end times. This ancient book, revered by many, holds within its pages a multitude of prophecies that speak of a time yet to come. Let's delve into some of these prophecies and attempt to unravel their meanings. The Book of Revelation, often considered the ultimate guide to end times, is filled with vivid and symbolic descriptions of events leading up to the final days. Wars, natural disasters, and moral decay are recurrent themes. Now these might sound ominous, but they're portrayed as signs, indicators of a time of change. Moving on, the Book of Daniel, another prophetic text, speaks of kingdoms rising and falling, of times of tribulations and deliverance. It's a narrative that echoes the cyclical nature of history and the inevitability of change. Lastly, we turn to the Book of Matthew. Here we find Jesus himself discussing the end times. He speaks of wars and rumors of wars, of earthquakes in various places, and of people's love growing cold. These, he says, are the beginning of birth pains, the onset of a new era. But remember, these prophecies, while intriguing, are not meant to incite fear. Instead, they're there to prepare us, to make us aware of the signs and the changes that could unfold. They serve as a reminder that even in the face of change, there is hope and there is a plan. These prophecies, while intriguing, are not meant to incite fear, but to prepare us for what's to come. So what can we glean from these prophecies about the end times? Well, the key takeaway here is that these prophecies aren't designed to scare us into submission, but rather to prepare us for what lies ahead. They serve as a roadmap, guiding us through the complexities of life and the uncertainties of the future. We can't predict what the future will bring, but we can arm ourselves with knowledge, understanding, and faith. These prophecies encourage us to live righteous lives, to treat one another with kindness, and to maintain our faith in God, irrespective of the trials and tribulations we may encounter. So, let's not view these prophecies as a harbinger of doom, but rather as a beacon of hope. They remind us that despite the challenges we may face, God is with us, guiding us and providing us with the strength to overcome. Remember, the end times are not about fear, but about preparation and faith. So live with kindness, love, and faith, and you'll be prepared for whatever comes.